Okay, we have to make our way back to Phineas. Can I fast travel from here? That way I don't have to kill any more board members. <laughs> or troopers, rather. Cannot fast travel on the owl styles. Well, I'm sorry to say there's people <laughs> travel now. <laughs> Cannot fast travel while in combat. Who am I in combat with? Okay, we're gonna have to fight our way to the ship. want to play come on Felix come on Pavati <laughs> we're making our way off this rock Kill the gardener now. Oh, you want to shoot me too? Okay. Out of my way. Get him, Felix. Yeah. Anybody else want to shape me in Moss and more crew? I. <laughs> I thought not. Done playing nice. <coughs> Aren't we, Pavati? you two we're leaving we're getting out of here come on you two Ada it's time to take off <laughs> yeah I think uh, 5,000 rounds in each weapon will do <laughs> Although, I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong in that last episode. I've been doing so well with my, uh... My dialogue checks. <laughs> did I miss one? If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Not now, Ada. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. Ooh. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. 
You've had quite a career. <laughs> you mean stumbling around the colony pretending to know what I'm doing? I think you're being modest. <laughs> I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. And killed the man. Today the region is profitable <laughs> for the first time in years. Its workers are productive. They might even be happy. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. You almost sound like you approve. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. Hey, I the didn't board steal doesn't it. Know what to make of you. The captain died I and do. I became the captain. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. I'm not sure I trust you. Wait, how do you know I'm from the Hope? We raised security on the Hope after Wells broke in. As for discovering the identity of the missing colonist, all we had to do was scan the passenger manifest. I'm not sure I trust you yet. Then let me help you make up your mind. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. <laughs> I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Wanted for what exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You want me to sell him out? Wells was our <coughs> mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Hmm. Let's get out of it. Yeah, look, there's one, two, three, four more, five more planets I could go to. Typhon, Hephaestus, Olympus, Tartarus, and Eridanos. This can't be the end, can it? We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Pavati, I need you! I think I'm gonna take Felix. You're out. I think I'm gonna take Vicar Max with me. That's right, Vicar Max. You're coming with me. I'm not certain I want to trust her. Alright, Vicar. I'll put you at medium range. Yeah. Hey, Wells. Where you at, mate?
How you doing, Wells? I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Uh, forget about the chemicals for a second. The colony's on the verge of collapse. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. It gets worse. The Germans planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. chemicals in the ministry the board and this isn't at all reassuring phineas i found your chemicals in the ministry the board was testing them on human subjects human test subjects oh, that's grotesque that's unthinkable that's exactly what i'd expect out of the board i had to let the test subjects die but i brought back all the chemicals they had thank you You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Uh, I think they were trying to accomplish what you were trying to accomplish. The board's trying to mitigate damage to human tissue during the revival process. trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. <laughs> what makes you say that? I used to work for these people. I'm intimately familiar with the utter incompetence of the board's own scientists. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Well, I don't approve. We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. There's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we can skip the hope into the system. <laughs> gibbering law you're a genius we bring the hope to us skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space right next to my lab that's right hope's probably damaged we'll have to route power from the unreliable yes yes exactly you're a step ahead of me but i perceive the shape of your plan if we link up the 
difficult to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. And that's going to work, without killing us in the process. I thought intrasystem micro-jumps were prohibited for a reason. Yes, yes, there's always a risk of a catastrophic collision between the Hope and, say, Terra 2, in theory. But you'll be fine, provided your calculations are correct. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Sweet! Sounds like a plan. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. The adjutants asked me to plant a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you absolutely should. What? I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Sarcasm. The last refuge of the witless. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. Well, that should buy me some time. Sounds good. The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Yes, sir. <coughs> All right. Send the tracking signal. Send corrupted tracking signal. Have fun with that. <laughs> put the rest of my skill points into heavy weapons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, Reggie, that skill. <laughs> Only 6% of the player base on Xbox got it. That's, uh, that's a little sad. Oh well. But, that's gonna be the end of this video. Or episode. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the next video, which I wager will be the conclusion. Choose. Oh man, this is getting exciting.